Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Total War Arena. In today's episode, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to jump into some gameplay with some tier 5 elephants so you guys can really get a good idea of what they are all about. Now at the moment, literally everyone and their dog is playing elephants or everyone and their dog is trying to counter elephants. So I don't think this is going to be a great representation of how they play. It's going to take maybe a week or two until they die down and people kind of get the idea of how they should be played. I personally think that it's going to end up being that you don't just take three elephants into battle i feel like you're going to end up taking i don't know two units of elephants and a support infantry unit whether you know your general is on that unit of elephants or not is is something to be debated but i definitely think taking three elephants can be a bit overkill as they are not that not that hard to actually kill you can definitely surround them and, and find some really good opportunities just to slaughter them especially now that javelins and scorpions have a real good place in the world or in the game just to simply take out these elephants as they do rinse through you know you get a good javelin player a good caesar and he will just annihilate them within seconds or i guess not not quite seconds but you guys know what i mean so as i said we're playing hannibal right now i'm going to be taking a unit of tier 5 punic mercenaries which are the tier 5 sword infantry for carthage uh, they're not fully upgraded um obviously i've got the tier 6 elephants but uh i feel like i'm playing way too early in the day for uh us to find a decent tier 6 game without being stuck in with all the tier sevens etc um so yeah we've got a uh, tier five infantry they've got their sword upgrades not their shield upgrades quite yet but hopefully we'll pick that up at some point in the future as we work our way on to iberian rebels uh, which i'm looking forward to because the tier six carthage infantry have a charge which i think would make hannibal a lot like a bit like hannibal will excel i think at tier six because you get that extra charge from the infantry um, and then obviously we're taking the tier 5 premium elephant unit um, with the imported wild apples as well because it gives you charge impact and movement speed. The movement speed is kind of the main thing that you want to pick up with them. Hannibal himself obviously has force march which speeds you up a little bit whilst reducing your charge impact and your speed. Um, oh, sorry, and your morale. Uh, we also have determination which is a really good kind of small cooldown ability which can uh, really help you out in some situations especially when you in negative terrain like rivers and stuff and then finally uh, his uh, final ability is a really really good one you go ahead and get a huge boost to weapon damage and then after 60 seconds you get an in another increase to your weapon damage an even better one however you can no longer control that unit so this is kind of the ability where you want to try and get stuck in and stay in combat for as long as possible uh, playing quite defensive for the first kind of minute um, maybe coming into the flanks and then just getting stuck in when phase two does hit after that minute minute is up so let's jump into battle we are obviously playing normal battles because i remember in the first game uh we were well, the first video i did on the open beta we were actually playing against ai for like the first two battles or so and i just didn't even realize so i just wanted to double check not that you can even play against ai at these higher tiers at tier five i think it's above tier four you can't play no actually no tier four and above you can't play against ai which I think is fair enough. And also, on top of that as well, I'm pretty sure you get less experience when you're fighting against um, AI as well. I think you get like 500 experience when fighting against AI. So, you know, it's normally not even worth it um, if you're looking to grind and excel. So it's always better, obviously, to play against players. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into a game and I'll see you guys there. What a fitting map for us to be playing elephants on. We will cross the Alps with our elephants in the snow and hopefully dominate the battlefield. Now, as I said, a lot of people are playing like counters to elephants. You can see right here, we've got scorpions on our team. A lot more people tend to be playing javelins, etc. Um, and it does look like we're also playing in a tier five and six match with some tier four scattered around obviously as i said i'm playing really early on in the morning and also there's not really um i guess a ton of people up at tier six quite yet so the the I, the tiers are a bit skewered whilst everyone kind of levels up as the open beta has only just started really so a lot of these higher tiers aren't going to be getting hit um so the matchmaking at least at these higher tiers are going to be a little bit dodgy however i've, I've definitely noticed that the lower tiers obviously where the majority of players are the matchmaking is 
looking much, much better. So I think what we'll do is we'll just head over here and, and try and get some nice little engagements. I'm obviously looking for swordsmen as jet elephants, as I you know I can dominate swordsmen. Germanicus with vengeance is a little bit of an issue, but normally you can just run away from his vengeance, get that off, and then re-engage as elephants are pretty mobile or somewhat mobile, and they have abilities that can get them out of combat as well as do a lot of damage. So let's get ready to dive into it. We have some nice support as well, lots of swordsmen, etc. So let's just push up here. Uh, we'll send up our entire force, force march everyone, just to get a little bit of extra ground. It wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly, if I could uh, maybe spread out my infantry a little bit more. But obviously being in force march doesn't quite allow me that. So these are the tier 5 uh, elephants don't have a lot of armor. The tier 6 elephants have a lot more armor uh, around them, but these are obviously a, a tier lower and they're premium, so you know they're a little bit more ragtag. But they can get their stuff done. Oh, we run into some enemies. Oh, nice. This is like the perfect matchup, if I'm honest, for us. We, we always want to be engaging here uh, against some Hannibal elephants for sure. Let's go do that. We'll leave our force march on for a second. Now we'll take it off. Um, if these guys are just going to fight me, then definitely I'll pop my extra weapon damage. Uh, I assume that they're going to run away now, which is really unfortunate. I should have maybe have not got too eager and popped that. There's obviously plenty more reinforcements coming as well. But again, tier 4 and stars, he doesn't really scare me. Artillery does do work against elephants as well. So I'm going, I'm just going in right now, whatever. We will just try and engage everyone. Let's go and stump as well whilst we're here. Right, they're doing stomping damage, just really good amounts of damage. And then what you want to do when you stomp on with elephants is you want to carry on rampaging. That's kind of like the ideal thing. Uh, we also want to make sure we pop our, our, our screen with our elephants as well. That's going to hopefully route this unit, allowing us to continue to pursue them. Uh, obviously, when our, our um, stomp's back as well, we want to make sure we get that off again. Do as much damage to these guys as possible. But the nice thing is with these elephants, like we're literally scaring off all this infantry. I might go ahead and dispatch my dudes elsewhere because I want to avoid like this big clump of infantry. So let's go ahead and just turn around, try and do as much damage to these guys as possible. But yeah, as I said, we want to try and avoid these slingers if we can. And I'm going to go after this artillery which is up here. So let's go ahead and go back on force march just to get the hell out of here. But I feel like we did a nice amount of damage. You can see 800 aggression right there. One of the really bad things you have to be careful of is when you're getting hit by missile fire, you can see right here, missile hits. So the more like javelins that hit your elephant, the more damage and the slower you get. So you want to obviously always try and avoid javelins um, as they, they can make you really slow. And then if you're really slow, you're literally not going to be doing any damage whatsoever. I'm just going to turn up my sound a little bit as it is a bit quiet. So yeah, we know there are artillery up here. We're just going to go and see what's up here. And the nice thing is about having a unit of infantry with you is you can take get rid of spikes and uh, defensive uh, terrain, which you might not have been able to. Yeah, artillery does do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Wait, our base is being captured. Come on. Really? Yeah, nice we have some people going back. I mean, that's actually okay for us because he's wasting a lot of time. So yeah, normally, oh yeah, because normally there would be spikes here and we wouldn't be able to stop this. But luckily we can literally just charge in here. Not have to worry about the spikes. I'll just go kill them with that whilst we're there. This elephant can just chill. I mean, maybe we can send the elephant round. You guys can just kill that spike. Just to make sure I don't mess up at all. We'll leave this elephant just to take these guys out and send this elephant round. Nice, and I've got a lot more reinforcements. I mean, these guys might as well go main to the main fight now. There's no point in being up here. I've got this uh, very much under locks. And we will play another match after this as well, because we haven't really shown the sheer power of elephants, honestly. Okay, our javelin's back there, which we want to, we're want we not going to be able to really catch. They're faster than us as well. Much faster than us. So we want to stay away from these guys. Probably come in here. There's even pikemen here as well, though. There's a lot of infantry I don't really want to deal with. So I'm just going to go back here to the main fight. And yeah, they're all done with as well already. So we'll turn around. These guys should just route, obviously, if we pop our tusk there. We're still in force march as well. There's no need to pop anything else. And we'll go back over here. This will be the better engagement for us. Obviously, there's javelins here. There's you know scorpions and stuff. We just don't really want to deal with that. Because you can see the power of how quickly these javelins can take down elephants. But again, you know, like, it's like they should be able to take down elephants really quickly. Considering how much HP these guys have. You can see right here, 41,000. They have a lot of HP. But, I mean, it's understandable, you know. Because javelins can be countered fairly easily if you're not careful. You, know, you just shoot the javelins to pieces and then what are they going to do? 
And obviously, we have to be very careful right there. Hopefully, we'll get some archers. Yeah, we have... Oh, we nice. We have our scorpions of our own, so this should be fine. We'll just come in there, clean them up. And I guess head back to base with these guys, as it seems like there's... Oh, yeah, we need to head back to base for sure. So we'll just send all our units back. We'll leave one elephant here just to harass the enemy. And try and catch them up. Not that there's really a lot there, but yeah, we need to make sure we're back at base ASAP. We have some cavalry back there as well, so that should be okay. And nice, we're scaring them off. Now, these pikemen obviously do a great way at killing elephants as well, having that long pike. Now, elephants will break through the pikes. However, they'll take a ton of damage whilst they're doing it. So you have to just be very, very careful whenever you engage. Anyway, we're sending everything back. Want to make sure we can send our... Is there anything going to be... Yeah, we'll stay back here in this engagement. We have pikemen here as well. I'm going to stomp right here, which should hopefully do... Loads of damage, and then we'll just trample them all, staying away from the pikes. Obviously, you can see the additional number right there on the damage. We need to pop this as well. I don't think we have to get back to our base quite yet. Because, uh, no, we need to go. Just in case, just in case they immediately start to cap. So we're going to give up some extra points and just try and go there. Our other elephant is still just fighting away here. God, poor, poor slingers. The Kanani just getting headshot right there. But as I said, we need to make sure we do get back here. We'll pop our force march as well just to speed things up. Because I imagine they will cap somewhat quickly. We have our sword infantry in there as well. The Punic mercenaries. Punic mercenaries? Yeah, Punic mercenaries. But we're going to win anyway. Get that capture point. And that was a really nice battle for our elephants. We managed to avoid fighting all the negative units. Because even spears do a pretty good job at taking out, uh, taking out elephants. So I think we did a pretty good job there of avoiding it. And we'll just queue up straight away for another match. Um, you know, the less, uh, the less we run into spearmen, etc., the better, really. And getting some good experience. Uh, also leveling up as well. Nice, level 11. Do we get anything for level 11? We don't. Uh, so let's just queue up straight again. Uh, we'll see what we can do in this matches. I, I want to get like a proper match where we just clash. I've uh, got a few good replays, but I'm not sure if I'm going to upload them. Uh, just because I kind of like playing live. Uh, but I feel like replays just end up being really, really short. But I do have a good map on the Passage of Augustus, which I think is turning out to be one of my favourite maps next to Apis Graeus, the map we just played. Uh, the Passage of Augustus map is really cool, as it has the bases actually in the centre of the map, and you deploy it at the back, so you like both teams have to rush to their base to defend it, uh, whilst also using a lot of the terrain around the map. It's a really, really cool idea, um, and I definitely love the fact that they're doing it and kind of get, making some experience, like doing some experiments with these maps whilst we are in open beta. We're also hopefully be getting another map i'll be able to show you guys as well tutorberg forest which is now out i believe that's a, a higher tier match like a tier six match maybe it is a tier five map i'm not quite sure um, but again it's a pretty cool map it's, it's very much an open map uh, i believe it has a river crossing in the center kind of like rubicon but it's much more uh it's much more wide uh look the length is much better whereas you know rubicon is much more like wider uh the two bird forest is at the other kind of almost like the opposite with two hills at either side whereas rubicon is very flat so cool we'll jump into the next match Okay, Hadrian's Wall. Now, I haven't actually played Elephants on Hadrian's Wall yet. However, I imagine this could be a pretty decent map for them because there's a lot of, like, close quarter terrain and there's also a lot of, uh, I guess, objects around the map where javelins can't throw over them. So you can definitely kite javelins around this map. Very, very nice. And obviously, there's loads of secluded areas. If there's a big engagement right here, that would be perfect for elephants. So we're going to make sure we we end up on one of the flanks, I think, with our elephants whilst rushing towards this. We also have a couple tier sixes in our roster as well as some tier fours um, as well, um, obviously against a group or two. So again, we want to try and avoid the javelins as much as we can. Um, I imagine scorpions have a hard time as well. Because, for example, if scorpions are shooting up here, they don't actually have a great line of sight, uh, which we can hopefully use to our advantage and, and try and kite the enemy as best as we can. So let's form up right about here, I think. I always like going on this right flank, um, piling towards this position right here and trying to keep the enemy at bay. I never normally like to go center, whereas I think center pushes can be really effective. If you've got a good team on this map, you can just smash the central flank and just run through. 
Now I will say one of the uh, one of the disadvantages of what I'm doing right now by bringing an extra unit of swordsmen is if I run into a, an army of three elephants, I'm most likely going to lose by myself. However, I'm never going to take that engagement, right? If I do run into elephants, I'm going to avoid it as much as possible, and I'm going to wait for teams to come and support me. You know, that's kind of, as I said, one of the disadvantages is you just can't take on elephant v elephant fights because they will just outmatch you with damage output on your elephants. However, you know, you can just avoid them fights, and you don't really have to worry, and I feel like having an extra unit of infantry is just really diverse. Obviously, we can see this being a unit of cavalry right now. Um, the Greek cavalry, they're going to retreat, obviously, and we're going to secure this. Which is going to be good. Having this vision is going to be perfect. We can see what else the enemy are bringing up. Nice. So we have some artillery back there. We want to kind of avoid some archers in the center. Um, but this flank seems pretty open. So I'm not going to push this. Because I want these archers to actually get into range. And hammer these guys. Which they're going to be able to do. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. Barrage them. Barrage them, my dude. There we go. These guys, unless they sprint away, should be getting peppered. Nice. There we go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful damage right there by the archers. Just disintegrating. You can't do that as Alexander. Alexander is very, very uh, weak when it does come to that. So, elephants in the center. I think, honestly, we might have to go there to help out. We've got a big push in there. and We need we need help center. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to... Divert my forces, help out elsewhere, because this is a tier four as well. Yeah, he does not stand a chance. So I'm, yeah, we got archers coming. Oh yeah, definitely center. Need help center. This is going to be difficult for me as well because it's not like I can really deal with these huntsmen either. Luckily, we do have archers to support of our own. Uh, some tier six archers, which should be able to outrange all of these guys actually, and some tier five archers. Nice. This is a good amount of teamwork right now because these archers should be able to take care of the huntsmen. Uh, fairly effectively and then we'll be able to come in and help deal with these elephants now as I said It's not like we're gonna be able to do great damage against the elephants and you can just see the devastation they're doing against tier 4 archers But when we turn up it should be much much better uh, Well, it's much more effective and you can see our archers are just smashing them at range We have the range advantage right there. We all obviously want to stay away from the pikemen if we can and Obviously, I guess stay away from these guys as well. Uh, these elephants aren't gonna be a great target for us either yeah, we got more infantry coming down. I'll wait until these rest of us start here in before we make our, our kind of move in. It's unfortunate that we don't have any, like, javelins or anything. Now, I want to obviously avoid this fight for as long as possible. Um, I don't want to just go full-hearted. You know, we want to wait till our javelins. Oh, yeah. We're just going to support here. There's no need for us to engage. We have really good javelin support here. The javelins should just incinerate, uh, disintegrate these guys. Ah, screw it. We'll get some experience. We'll go in. We'll just charge, and you guys can see some of the really cool elephant stuff. So they're going to hit me with their stomp. Uh, one of the things I've, I've definitely learned is you have to be very careful with how you stomp. Because you can see how much damage it does. Um, and you really have to be kind of careful. With a javelin support, though, we should be okay. And you, you tend to want to normally wait until they're out of the animation to stomp again. But yeah, you can just see how much damage the elephants can do. Let's try and get this one out. Yeah, let's just try and get our elephants out now. It's kind of maybe a bit foolish of me just to go that wholehearted in. But I really didn't want to just die. I, mean, I really want to just get some action, so... Cavalry? Oh, cavalry incoming, yeah. So we want to try and protect protect our, our dudes as much as possible. So we're going to come over here to try and protect them. Thankfully, we did manage to scare them off. And our elephant can maybe try and help these guys off. You can see we're just kind of playing a bit more defense here. As the archers go ham. Yeah, the archers are going ham right now, shooting at the elephants. We're going to try and scare, scare off. Because the Greek cavalry gets in, like destroyed by archer fire. So we're just acting more of a you know, defensive force right now. Yeah, you, you, And I guess I kind of just showed you guys exactly what not to do on elephants. If you're outnumbered on elephants, you always want to try and avoid it. Because you can see just the amount of damage they can do. But that was a really good example of us just forming up as a team and pushing on because because we formed up because you know if if I didn't if I didn't tell people to go center most likely we would have just poured down here and it would have been way too late for us to defend the base but because we you know I I, I gave the, not given the order but I suggested that we did make our way to the central uh, position you know the team did do that and look how well it turned out for us we worked well as a team um, and did a lot of damage which is great. Okay, so I want to. Our elephant doesn't really have a lot of HP, so I want to try and avoid these skirmishes. Luckily, our archers should be able to take them out really effectively. 
They're actually in range of me? Wow. Oh, that's the archers. Okay. Yeah, our, our archers should be able to ruin these guys. Um, yeah, I lost so much arch, uh, so much elephant HP for like no reason there. Just to kind of, I guess, show you guys more. <laughs> Wasn't really the best example. Um, but I mean, I guess you guys can learn from uh, my blunders. I was like, yeah, I'm sure this way I won't die that quickly, but elephants really do rinse through them. Oh, nice. We managed to actually engage this. Perfect. And then we'll be able to get these a star team back with our elephant as well. Wait for a nice little attack, and then we'll do our stomp. Stomp's probably not the most optimal one, but that's a lot of damage. I and mean, then we can just trample all of these guys as well. That's perfect. You guys are going in as well. Probably pop off our force march now on this, on this elephant. Oh, it was already off, actually. My, my bad. Uh, I guess we'll go weapon damage. Why not? Whilst we're here. Elephant, continue just to harass, please. Uh, you can say on force march, actually. You're not really taking any damage. What by cavalry by the looks of it? Yeah, it looks like by cavalry, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Elephants getting hit by yeah, even like these like these few skirmishes are doing a lot of damage to our elephant. Let's get ready to stomp again. Make sure that we get in our nice little arc because you can see right there the arc is somewhat. Uh, you can definitely miss it, but you, obviously if you just pay attention, you're fine. Let's continue just to run over these guys, trample them to death. Oh, God, no. That's so painful that he just ran into all of them. Uh, we should probably head back to base at some point as well. What? Oh, my God. This guy just didn't see him in line of sight. Oh, my God. He must have just line of sighted him hiding there. The dude came around the corner and just didn't see. We will obviously make our way back, though. Uh, this battle is very much secure with our archer support. So, we're just going to run back to base um, and help out. You know, the only way we can probably lose this battle is if we do get capped. So we're going to make our way back just to help out a little bit more whilst also pushing in our elephant. See the elephant just ruining whatever's left. Don't know where the majority of their soldiers are. They still have 239 power. That's quite a lot. And yeah, it's just cavalry which is back at the base. But yeah, I guess we're, we're our army comp. There's just no point doing anything. Uh, that's great. We want, we want the cap points. Let's just make our way in. We definitely want the cap points. One of the really good changes they've made, um, which I think really helps out Barbarians getting points in the game, is they've made it so that scouting, if you scout like half the enemy team, you end up getting like 1,800 points or so. You can see the majority of our points are coming from support. That's obviously because we defend our archers, but it's also because we scouted out people and discovered what they bring into the battle. Oh yeah, obviously we'll, we'll go protect these guys really quickly. Make sure we act as a shield. So that our archers can shoot them. Are they going to just charge me? Uh, probably not, right? Our elephants are getting slaughtered as well. What are the elephants getting? Oh, they're scorpions, right? Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. He's not going to be able to get through here. My elephant's like so... Oh, it's friendly fire, I think. Yeah, as long as we scare this guy off. We might as well force march here as well. It does reduce our charge defect, but it'll be allowed us to just maneuver here a lot better. Yeah, if this guy's smart, he'll just split up his units. There's nothing I can do if he just splits up his horses. But we'll get some good damage off from them horses. He can continue to shoot. Or elephant can come in here as well. And this one's much weaker, so we're going to try our best to defend over this side. We'll stomp there. Stomp doesn't do great amounts of damage against, like... Um, horse units. He just got frustrated and charged in there and obviously he's going to get slaughtered. We're about to deal with this unit. There's not going to be many horses left. Oh, this is only Barbarian Cavalry as well. I really don't worry about Barbarian Cavalry. Um, as I was just saying, they do end up getting like a lot more points now because they can scout, but they, they honestly just need to give them a, a dedicated charge. I feel like the pre-existing charge for Barbarians is just so bad. Um, on cavalry, that it's just, it's just no, it's, it just makes them so much weaker. Now, maybe that does change when you hit the higher ranks, but I, I feel like they just need like a proper charge more than anything else. We're going to try and keep our elephant alive. Unfortunately, that was not successful. Uh, we'll form up here and we'll just form our, our nice little shield wall um, and give our archers a bit of protection. Because the shield screen is pretty cool as well, because the first like rank kneels um, and the second rank puts their shields up. So it's kind of like a nice little cool defensive test judo. So that, that game was a lot less aggression than the previous one. However, I feel like we did a much better teamwork there. Defending and kind of just seizing up the map and commanding the team to victory.
So two, two pretty good victories on Hannibal. I'll show you guys my stats as well so far. I haven't really been playing with any groups. I think I've played with Haxo a couple of times. But besides that, I haven't really delved into group combat like whatsoever. Um, you know, normally I have a lot of friends I play with on my friends list. But I haven't like some like top tier players. But at the moment playing solo, I'm 67% win rate. 56% uh, on Hannibal so far. Having a lot of fun with him. Oh, Scipio uh, is not doing great. Normally, Scipio's our main character, will be our main character. Uh, Germanicus, pretty good. Uh, Caesar. Caesar is just so strong when you play him right. He really is. Them buffs are amazing. And then everyone else, I've actually got a nice little set of wins down here. Well, this is almost 10 wins, 9 wins right here, just on all these characters undefeated on three different dudes. That's pretty uh, nice indeed. Uh, Alexander the Great is pretty decent. I feel like what I want to do in the open beta is just go hard on Cavalry. Cavalry, but not just Roman Cavalry. Normally, I just play Roman Cavalry, but I want to play Greek Cavalry, Roman Cavalry, Carthaginian Cavalry, and also uh, Barbarian Cavalry. I want to kind of play all four, which I think will make the make me not get as bored uh, playing it because I'll be playing so many like different roles. Um, as Carthaginian Cavalry is much like have the, like the spear throws and stuff, which make them very interesting. Greek Cavalry is very good at taking out other cavalry. Uh, Roman Cavalry is very good at standing in combat. Barbarian Cavalry is good at scouting. Like I want to try and get really good at all four so i can play all four whenever i need to say for example when i am playing in a group or something so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like and a comment down below i'll see you guys in the next one and fish out